doing a video for y'all on um, why I went to the hospital. Um, it's been about, yeah, it was a week ago today that I um, checked out of the hospital. And I wrote down everything that I needed to say. I've already done a Facebook Live with this, but um, I wanted to do it on YouTube too. Oh my gosh. Yeah, the lighting is not great. Sorry about that. But, yeah. Doing the best I can with what I'm working with. So. And I apologize if the phone falls again. I've got it setting up on the TV. So, as some of you may know, um, I had to go to the hospital about a week ago, or no, a little over a week ago. And I'm going to tell you about what the syndrome that I have. And then I'm going to tell you all of the details I recall about, like, when I was in the hospital. Like, everything that, all the procedures I had and um, what I remember about that night and everything. So, so what I have is called SMA syndrome or superior mesenteric artery syndrome. And it's a gastrovascular disorder in which the third and final portion of the duodenum is compressed between the abdominal aorta and the overlying superior mesenteric artery. So there's three different arteries that go from your heart and one goes to the small intestine and right below that is your superior mesenteric artery. And having SMA syndrome means um, that the fat pad that normal people have is gone or under is gone and it squishes the small intestine and the, and the SMA together to where there's nothing here. So it makes it hurt really bad and if you don't get it checked out as soon as you know that you have it, which obviously you will know, like you, you're going to need to go to the emergency room, it's going to hurt so bad, obviously, but, um, you, like, have to go as soon as you know, or something bad could happen. There actually have been deaths that occurred because people didn't get treated fast enough, so it's very rare. The causes typically are due to the loss of the mesenteric fat pad, the fatty tissue that surrounds the superior mesenteric artery between that and the small intestine. And anything that sharply narrows the angle between the aorta and the superior mesenteric artery can cause compression of the duodenum resulting in SMAS, or superior mesenteric artery syndrome. The most common cause of the mesenteric fat pad disappearing is significant weight loss caused by medical disorders, psychological disorders, or surgery. In younger patients, it most commonly occurs after corrective spinal surgery for scoliosis. And this is really weird because none of that happened to me. I didn't have any kind of weight loss none whatsoever i was eating fine so no weight loss um i do have a few me medical disorders but nothing to where it makes me lose weight or anything and i didn't have any kind of surgery i've never had surgery so and it is also weird because i have scoliosis i don't need surgery for it but it was just really weird because none of that's happened to me it was just kind of random so it just kind of happens to some people most of the time it has one of those causes but i didn't have any kind of causes so it was just it just happened um so i'm gonna tell you what i recall what i remember um thursday evening i started getting really bad cramps but not anything unbearable 
Uh, Friday morning, I was fine. I did two final exams here for college. Um, Friday afternoon, I started cramping bad again. I had to lay down a lot, even though I was hurting. I still kept my word and went to have dinner at my grandma's. My stomach progressively got worse as the afternoon turned to evening. Nanny gave me some Imodium and I drank some water. Then I was asking her and Rashad what to do. And Rashad was telling me the whole time before I even went anywhere to go to the hospital. So he was kind of like, you know, I told you so. But I deserved to be told I told you so. Because I kind of always wait till the last minute to get treated for something. I just wait and wait and wait. I'm like, okay, it'll go away, it'll go away, and it doesn't, so. Um, sorry, I'm like reading and trying to make it seem like I'm not reading, but I'll forget and like, yeah. So I had to write everything down. Oh yeah, y'all, these are my favorite snacks. If y'all had no flips. Yeah, so that's what I'm eating, if y'all don't know what the bag was. Um. I feared Nanny would be mad at me, but the pain was so bad. Rashad rushed me to the ER where I told them I was having unbearable stomach pain and chest pain, so they sent me right back. They gave me something called a GI cocktail and hooked me up to an IV because they realized I was um, really dehydrated. And then I went to the bathroom with my IV and immediately threw it up. When I got back to the room, they said that they couldn't find anything in my blood test, but I had a UTI, so they said I was fine and sent me home with some antibiotic. I was really mad, but because I wasn't any better. So it really made me mad. They're just like, okay, you have a UTI and that's it, or some kind of infection. I don't know. Um, here's an antibiotic that'll make the UTI go away. You're fine. I was like, what? Like, you're going to tell me this unbearable pain is nothing. I'm fine. Oh, okay, I'm fine. I'll just ignore the fact that I'm, I feel 